Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, got a stump bucket here. I've had it for a little bit. Uh, haven't used it very much. Still trying to really get it figured out. So anyway, I thought I would film using it. Um, and maybe I can see what I'm doing wrong and put it out here on YouTube land and see uh, if any of you guys can help me out a little bit. Um, take them off the bucket and then I'll get the... Uh, stump bucket connected. I tell you man, these quick attaches are the best thing in the world. I've never had a tractor without one, but I can't imagine. And you know, I've watched people having to try to connect stuff that don't have a quick attach. And goodness. Um, you know, what I will say, just please make sure you, when you go through this, make sure you do it right. Um, you'll see when I do this, I check it, double check it, triple check it. <laughs> You know, I, I, I'm really wanting to be sure it's on there correctly. I mean, saw a video the other night. I think it's 3 Mississippi is the channel. And they uh, uh, didn't get the... They had a fork on there put a, and uh, didn't get it on quite right. And it slipped off one side and ended up just really jacking up their, their loader. So, um, anyway, just take time to make sure it's right. And you can see here, you know, luckily I check it because what I can't see yet is there's a lot of dirt in the way that's keeping it from, or I can't find the emergency brake, um, but a lot of dirt that's keeping it from sliding into place. Um, I kind of mess around with it a little bit and I realized, I, I thought I had a lot of the dirt out of the way and then I realized that the, uh, I still can't get it to lock into place here. Um, but luckily it was just a simple fix, just go around and lift the, uh, the bucket and let the dirt fall out, um, piece of cake. But again, once I did that, it fit perfectly, I was able to get it locked in right, and uh, we're good to go. And double check, make sure it's all good. Alright, now let's go around back. This is some of the 2.7 acres we uh, purchased about a year ago. We, we've done some cleaning, but I'm trying to get it. Uh, this little area right here behind the, all these shrubs, there's a huge tree back there that I really want to get all these brushes and shrubs and little trees out of the way. Um, that way I can actually see the big tree. <laughs> but uh, just going to take a you know, large amount of time to get it all completed. But anyway so you know my biggest issue and you'll see here in a minute I'm trying to lean around and see the bucket that's the biggest issue I have with this is it is just really hard you know I'm, I'm kind of looking on the side I'm thinking oh well instead of looking on the side let me try to look down through it and try the other side you know I just can't find the right place to uh, you know get a good view of where how deep the the front little pieces into the ground or what angle I'm at you know I don't want to go too crazy of an angle and I, I don't know I'm just kind of struggling on how to how to really see where the bucket's at and see what angle I'm my angle of attack is uh, I guess I need to watch some more videos I've watched a few on YouTube with people doing this and thought I had figured some stuff out you can see I'm still struggling with it I mean I was able to get up some trees here relatively quick but, oh, you know, all in all, I feel like I've got a lot to learn with this. And I guess the only real way to get it now, I did notice, I didn't even notice this at the time, but I'm in two-wheel drive, putting in four-wheel drive, and I don't even know that I'm in low. I think I might be in uh, medium right now. So, um, you know, I need to probably put it in four-wheel drive, put it in low, and just give myself a little more power, uh, you know, see if I can get the, the tractor pushing into the ground a little bit more. You know, and I'm not really sure what's a safe angle, you know, to to attack with the, the stump bucket. I mean, I don't want it to go straight down and feel like it's putting that much stress on my on my loader. But, you know, at the same time, the whole idea is for it to dig a little bit. So, you know, looking back now, I'm thinking I probably should be a little further away from the trees and not quite at such a steep angle on the, the bucket and just kind of let it dig down under the tree as best it can and then kind of come at it from a little bit different angle but you know all in all I mean I, I got up five or six decent sized little I'm not even going to call them trees bushes I guess it was one of them was a tree over here in a minute but 
you know, I, it, it got them up really good. I went out there, everything was really removed from the ground good and easy just to pick up. So, you know, all in all, this thing works great. Um, I've just got to spend some more time with it. It's just like anything. I mean, I've, I've, I really probably should have taken the post hole digger off, just swinging like crazy back there. Um, probably would be a good, uh, good time to have the uh, the box blade on there. But um, anyway, you know, I just need to spend some time with it. I mean, I you know, spending time with the box blade, spending time with the post hole digger, spending time with everything is the only way to really ever get used to something is with spending time with it. I'm not going to get used to it, you know, or get better at it by sitting here watching YouTube all day. <laughs> I need to get out and spend time on the tractor. And that's what I enjoy anyway, so it's all good. But anyway, I would love to hear some suggestions. I know some of you guys have been using these products forever, and, you know, you've got a really good method for, for doing it. And, you know, I, I'd love for you to tell me, hey, this is what you're doing wrong, this is what you're doing right, and just really help me understand what to what I need to do better next time to make this a, a, I don't know, more enjoyable process, I guess, but a little bit more successful. Maybe get through the, the trees, the stumps a little, a little quicker there. Anyway, I'll take this time while we're watching me kind of get some stuff up here, but not very expediently, I guess. Um, just would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. Um, if you get anything out of this video or enjoy it or whatever, just please like it. Uh, like I say, please comment and give me some suggestions on how to do better. If it looks like I'm doing it about right, just tell me that too, just so I'll know better. Um, you know, I'd love to get you guys to subscribe and, uh, and start watching the channel and, you know, trying to get some videos out there. I, you know, I do a lot of repair kind of videos. It seems like you know, if it's broke, I try to fix it, and if it's not broke, I tend to break it. Um, it seems to be the way my uh, everything's going out here lately. Luckily, the Kubota is still new, so nothing's really broke on it yet. Um, I think I've got right at 40 hours, so 10 more hours, and it'll be my 50-hour my maintenance. But I really, I've had it for a little less than a year, going on probably 11 months. I got it right after Thanksgiving last year. Um, it's been a great machine. Um, definitely need to look at uh, not having the, uh, the auger on there when I'm using this like this one because it is just swaying like crazy that definitely puts stress on it for no reason and see that little tree right there I mean just seemed to come up pretty good so I, I guess I'm starting to figure it out I guess I can't complain too bad but I just I feel like I've need to get some more time on it and get get a little more used to it I apologize for this view it's kind of weird I know I, the GoPro I don't have a mount for it so it's just sitting on the ground right now um, it's a very windy day <laughs> but uh, anyway I appreciate all you guys hanging out it, speaking of if you haven't subscribed yet please go subscribe I'm trying to get uh, you know, my goal is to come up with a, a, quite a few prizes to do once I had a thousand subscribers. Just do a drawing of all my subscribers I can see and, uh, you know, give some things away. I've got currently a few things. I've, I know I've got a, a brand new uh, ring doorbell. I won it um, at a company gathering, but uh, it requires doorbell wiring and we don't have doorbell wiring here so I was going to just try to probably sell it on uh, marketplace and just get a little bit for it and I was like eh, you know what I'll just give it away that'd be one of my things I give away and I'm going to try to collect some things like that and I'll probably go buy a few things especially around Black Friday it'll be time to go maybe catch a DeWalt drill or a couple you know just a few things like that to throw in to give away once we hit a thousand subscribers and then you know go ahead and once we get to that point, um, go ahead and hit the uh, pick the next target, whether it's 2,500 or 2,000 or whatever, and you know plan some giveaway for that to you. But um, anyway, I think I was at 180 subscribers when I looked the other day, something like that. So I've got a ways to go. <laughs> it's not going to be next week or anything. But um, anyway, all I know to do is get close. Uh, got a laugh the other day. I'm, I'm trying to get some content out here, but you know, one of these days I need to concentrate on making good content. But 
for now we'll just make content and be good with that but I do appreciate everybody that's watching this for sure and this land was definitely uh, you know, we just bought it, like I mentioned earlier. My neighbor was trying to sell it, and I didn't want anybody else buying it. So paid quite a bit of money for it, more than I probably should have. But I've got it now. Nobody else can buy it and build anything next to my house. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys.